I'm Dr. Prima Hydra and I'm the director of spine intervention here at Solaxis. Neck is one of the most flexible parts of your body. It supports and moves your head, which weighs approximately 11 pounds. Because of its range of motion and low amount of muscular stabilization, the neck is subject to a great deal of stress and injuries. Neck pain is very common. Between 20 to 80 percent of the population will report neck pain at some point in their lifetime. Neck pain can be acute or chronic. Acute pain is considered a new type of pain that has been ongoing for approximately six weeks or less. Chronic pain is considered to be any pain that lasts longer than six weeks. Neck is the area that separates the torso from the head. This involves the muscles, nerves, vessels, and bony structures in this area. Any of these structures can cause neck pain. When it comes to the spinal conditions, it's extremely crucial to find out what's truly causing the pain. We design an individualized treatment plan tailored for your specific condition. While surgery might be an option for neck pain, it's definitely not the most desirable. Neck pain is usually caused by several structures and surgery will not address all the structural problems. Stem cell therapy, on the other hand, could be a very effective option if patients are selected carefully. Stem cells are cells with the potential to develop into other cells. They act as a repair system for the body. The stem cells injected into the discs and the joints will help with the repair process and potentially reverse some of the degeneration, depending on the advancement of the condition. At Solaxis, for spine procedures, we utilize the patient's own stem cells derived from the bone marrow obtained from the pelvic bone. On the day of the procedure, the patient is brought to our private procedure suite. An intravenous line is started and 50 cc of whole blood is obtained. The blood is centrifuged and the end product is the platelet-rich plasma. The patient is placed on their stomach and sedation is administered. Under strict sterile technique, a special needle is placed in the patient's pelvic bone and bone marrow is aspirated. The procedure for obtaining bone marrow aspiration is relatively short with minimal discomfort. The aspirated bone marrow is centrifuged and prepared to produce a concentrated solution that contains stem cells. This is the bone marrow aspirate concentration. The bone marrow aspirate concentration and PRP are combined and under sterile technique are injected into the appropriate discs and facet joints. Most patients see an improvement in their pain and overall condition in approximately 8 to 12 weeks. Schedule an initial consultation to see what options are available. Thank you for watching. I hope this was informative.